Hello and welcome to Inside Indiana Business. I'm Gary Dick. It is perhaps the boldest talent attraction, retention, uh, development strategy in Indiana. Could ultimately result in 3,000 jobs. And it was a big week for the 16 Tech development in Indianapolis with a topping out ceremony for the project's anchor building. Innovation Building 1 is the first new construction at 16 Tech and will be home to the Indiana Biosciences Research Institute, IU School of Medicine Researchers, and Central Indiana Corporate Partnership. And I'm pleased to welcome back to the program CEO Bob Coy with what's next for this uh, highly anticipated uh, project. Bob, welcome to the program. Thank you, Gary. And congratulations on this is a big week. Uh, put in perspective, as you and I were talking off camera, this is a project that has spanned four mayoral administrations uh, in uh, Indianapolis, so it's been talked about thought about for a long time. What's the significance as now you can physically see a building, building one, that's uh, that's in the works? Well, we've moved out of the design and concept stage uh, into the implementation stage, and it makes the project seem more real to a lot of people mm -hmm. who understandably have wondered if this project would ever get off the ground because it was first conceived of in 2002, mm -hmm. uh, but has really begun to accelerate. Let's talk, we'll talk about uh, the broader 16 Tech uh, vision in a moment, but this Innovation Building 1, talk about what this will be uh, once complete. I know some key tenants are already lined up, 120,000 square feet, so a substantial building. It's a substantial building. It will have uh, labs on the first three floors for life science research by the Indiana Bioscience Research Institute, but also by uh, startup companies um, which need access to that equipment. Um, the, IU School of Regener the IU School of Medicine's Regenerative Regenerative Medicine program will be on the, the fourth floor, and that is led by a highly, highly uh, entrepreneurial professor named Dr. Shandon Sen, mm -hmm. who I would recommend you have on your show sometime. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's moved over here from Ohio State recently and brought 30 to 40 uh, researchers with him. Um, and then all of the CICP initiatives from TechPoint, Conexus, Agronovus, Ascend, BioCrossroads mm -hmm. will all be on the fifth floor. I know you have an even larger building, Building 2, that's uh, set to break ground, I think, next year, that's potentially. Correct. But it, more in a breaking news type of environment, you've got commitments, some new commitments from companies uh, that are substantial as well. Yes, we have non-binding letters of commitment from companies in the life sciences, tech, engineering, financial services, as well as a couple of universities mm -hmm. that have told us they would like to be within the district. Yeah, and again, these can I put the umbrella on it? These are advanced industry jobs. Is that an accurate statement? Uh, very accurate. Yeah. Uh, but they're also, it's a nice mix of, we're, we're projecting that of the 3,000 jobs that will be created within the district over the next 10 years, about 40% uh, will be bachelors and higher, um, and about 23% will actually be entry level. So it's a nice mix for everybody. And you talk about a mix, this is a kind of a live, work, play type environment. Again, where we're talking about the near west side, close to Bush Stadium, uh, just off uh, 16th Street. Uh, you are also gonna have housing and retail, all kinds of things. That's right. Housing is moving forward. You'd like to have that open before too long, We right? would like to have that open in 2021, and we have a design for 200 to, 230 to 250 units um, that will be um, adjacent, very close to mm -hmm. building one. So it, it, it creates a true live, work, play environment and the within word, the district. the word transformational is used, I think sometimes overused for projects these days, but you could make the argument that this can be a transformational project for Indianapolis in a number of ways. Oh, it will be. I mean, the fact that we're moving forward is the result of the corporate community coming together and mm -hmm. saying that we need an innovation district like 16 Tech mm -hmm. for our companies to be able to attract talent to the region. Mm -hmm. So it will, it will create a halo effect, I do believe, for the entire city of Indianapolis and the state. Mm -hmm. and, and you mentioned that collaboration, academic uh, institutions, the corporate community, and obviously the public sector as well. Yes. Got to be key to making this all work. It's very key to making it work. Um, increasingly, in the world today and in, and in Indiana, um, the unemployment rate is so low the talent is a premium. Mm -hmm. And so the ability to interact with faculty and students mm -hmm. is part of the draw of an innovation district like 16 Tech. All right, Bob Coy is uh, the CEO at uh, 16 Tech, major development with the uh, topping out of building one. Bob, as always, thanks for coming on the show and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot, Gary. All right.